Hi. So recently, the field of AI has won a lot from the achievements made in like machine learning, or more specifically, deep learning, which use artificial neural networks to solve a variety of problems. But today, I would like to answer the question: Does AI think like humans now? Will AI think like humans in the future? And should they? Well, my short answer is no. Often, that's just an analogy we use to make things easier to understand. But on some levels, yes. Let me explain. Machine learning is often about designing this blank state machine and then adjust it to do what you want through trial and error. For example, you can start with a robot arm and make it throw basketballs. Basically, you just let it throw one and adjust the trajectory accordingly. If it's too much to the left, you adjust the robot arm so it throws a little bit to the right. And this is like us in that we learn from experiences, but the details how it's done is very different. And this does not solve every problem. The idea here is it's easier to build a machine that have a wide potential in what it can do and nail it down bit by bit, right? But if your design is not capable of doing what you want it to do, no matter how much experience, how much data you feed into it, you're gonna end up with some funky results. Enters deep learning. What deep learning does is to allow more sophisticated patterns to be worked with. For example, what's right in between one apple and three apples? Well, if you're working on pixels, like in an image, you are going to get four blurry apples. But if your model is capable of understanding numbers and apples, you are going to get two apples. I think we all agree the latter is more useful. And there's this additional problem when you're trying to mimic humans. You see, humans are messy. Real living organisms are messy. If you want to achieve artificial flight, you don't have to build a bird. You should take what's useful from that bird, for example, wings, and experiment with them and come up with what best suits us. And that's what we often do from CNN to experience replay to temporal abstraction. It's nature's inspiration, mass magically engineered to be practical on modern computers. And now we have commercial jets that carries much heavier load and flies much faster. They are incapable of making babies, sure, whatever. At least they aren't floppy. You see, what we created with machine learning are just like commercial jets. They are solution or elaborate tools for specific purposes. They do what we want, and they do the job faster, cheaper, and better. Of course, this does not mean we don't want to build a machine that's beyond the specific purpose tool, something that works more like human. For one, these research can be keys to learn how we achieve intelligence or general problem solving. And it's also important to remember, humans aren't a perfect solution to intelligence. Just Google things like、uh, logic fallacies, cognitive biases, and sensory illusions, and you'll see. In our way to intelligence, we could find potential solutions that help us learn, and, and we already did on some level. And today's machine learning still have a couple steps to take to get there. For example, they don't transfer experiences well. In this paper titled "Building Machines That Learn and Think Like People," the author argued for three traits that we should aim for in the future.、Uh, the trait one is building a model of the world that AI can reason with, rather than just simply remembering a solution for each pattern. And trait two is fundamental understanding of physics and psychology, basically objects without a mind and objects with a mind. And I mean, if you can reason with people's intention. Yeah, then it's much better. And trait three is compositional reuse of learned information, basically learning to learn, which is like using previous knowledge in how you explore or understand new things. And this would have been the end of my video, but PBS Idea Channel just made a video on this subject, link in the doobly do. So I will give a take on whether AI can make art. I think it really depends on how you define art. What today's AI do is fundamentally limited in ways I just quoted from the paper. An elaborate brush is not by itself creating art. Yes, what you can achieve by say auto encoders, well, they look aesthetics, but they are not created with a mind. Artists often impart meanings into their work. 
Even when they are just being aesthetics, their work is affected by their personality and personal history. And as I just said, that's still an area that we need to work on. For me, AIs are useful tools that save time and effort, but not quite themselves artists just yet. And you need to understand just how much information these models are capable of retaining. Sometimes you can overtrain it so much that your model are essentially just a lossy compressed version of your training data, your corpus. At that level, it's like randomly choosing between several styles and content, like drawing Lady Gaga's face in style Van Gogh and putting Obama's eyes in style Picasso onto it. For RN, what they learn by remembering what comes after what at what probability. So if you overtrain, they can remember the entire text or just joining the grammatically correct pieces from your corpus. So yeah, and you've made it. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching such a long video. And don't forget to be awesome.